You're watching Today I Grew Up. Oh, hi, Buzz. Why don't you say hello to the guys over there? Hi, fellas, to infinity and beyond. Hey, look, it's Buzz. Yeah. Hey, Buzz, let's show the guys our new secret best friend's handshake. Give me five, man. Something screwy here. So you see, we're friends now, guys, aren't we, Buzz? You bet. Give me a hug. Ho, <laughs> ho. I love you, too. See? It is Buzz. Now give back the lights, Potato Head. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Murderer! Hey, guys. It's Today I Grew Up, and I want to show off my five buzzes in my collection. Okay, well, technically, it's only four Buzz Lightyears. Um, so... These are my Buzz Lightyear Toy Story Collection toys. And also there's a Disney Store limited edition Buzz in the mix here that's been modded. So I've never done a video of showing off all four of my Buzzes together in movie accurate scale. This is what I have for Buzz Lightyear. I've been collecting Toy Story since 2010, so it's been exactly 10 years that I've been collecting. And so a lot of times people ask me, how'd you find the money to buy all this stuff? Well. I saved money over 10 years. So yeah, I definitely am not rich and I did not buy this all at once because these toys are very expensive now. So I'm gonna go one by one on each Buzz Lightyear to tell you what I think about each Buzz Lightyear that I have. So let's go ahead and check out the first one. The first Buzz Lightyear I wanna to present to you is my signature collection Buzz Lightyear. Now this is something I bought actually recently in the last year or so. Um, because I wanted a signature buzz that I could mod and take the face shield off. I did have a 2010 white logo buzz, but I realized I didn't want to take the helmet off because um, it's just too rare and it's my first buzz ever, so I want to keep it factory like Thinkway Toys made it. So I got a signature buzz just so that I could take off the helmet and just use it more for live, live actions or whatever I want to do. But I really love the head sculpt on it. They definitely updated it in the last 10 years. And um, it's still rubbery material. Everything works the same exactly like Toy Story Collection Buzz, but this is Toy Story Signature Collection Buzz, and I love it. It's really great. Moving on, this is 2019 Limited Edition Buzz Lightyear from Disney Store. It was originally $60, and um, it's great because the wings, they fly out straight across, and I really like that look. It's different. Um, I did do a head swap, and I... <laughs> That was an interesting video that I have on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, please look at that video at the link below. Um, it glows in the dark and better than any buzz that I have really quickly. So you don't have to charge him that much and he glows instantly when you turn off the light. So that's something I really loved about the Disney store and it really sold me on this. And I had to mod it because um, I took the helmet off. As you guys know, that's new because it looks better. And this is a Disney store head that I hated. <laughs> I just did not like it. So I got this Thinkway Toys Buzz Lightyear sculpt, put the head on, and now that I took the helmet off, it looks even more like the movie. And compared to my signature collection, it's pretty close. I mean, the Karate Chop action feature, that alone, makes me want to keep this buzz around. Soy Buzz Lightyear. Vengo en son de Hasta el infinito y más allá. To infinity and beyond. Disney Store. Um, buzz that I modded twice now. <laughs> First head swap, now helmet mod. Now comparing signature buzz with Disney Store Limited Edition buzz, um, you could see uh, the definitely differences in the paint, the size. Disney Store buzz is taller for some reason. And also I don't like the just proportions seem off on Disney Store a little bit around his helmet area. So you know, but it's a great toy overall. Now, this Buzz Lightyear doesn't really need an introduction. Utility Belt Buzz Lightyear. He's my newest one that I just bought recently. He still makes his lights and sounds. He still talks. Here is a toxic. How dare you open a space fence helmet on an uncharted planet? My eyeballs could have been sucked from their sockets. <laughs> So his belt lights up, and that's what I really love about this. And it's just an overall cool Buzz Lightyear from the film. Toy Story 2 is one of my favorite movies of all time. So it's nice to have a utility belt buzz in my hands, in my collection. So it's awesome. We're going to move on next to my 2010 white logo Buzz Lightyear. 
I've never owned a cloud pattern buzz, so if you guys can tell me the differences, let me know. But this is the white logo 2010 Buzz Lightyear. So this is Wave 2 Buzz. Cloud Pattern Buzz came out, and then this is the second one that came out. And it's awesome. I don't have the batteries in. It does work, but I took the batteries out. Um, I usually display these without batteries, guys, because over time it could corrode inside. You don't want uh, those batteries to leak, so be careful. Anyway, here is a comparison of my Signature Buzz to my 2010 Cloud Pattern Buzz. What do you guys think of the faces? On Signature, he looks more alive and like flesh tone. And 2010 White Logo Buzz, he looks more like the toy mode face color buzz. More true to the film. So I know I'm probably biased, but my favorite Buzz Lightyear of all time is 2010 White Logo. And maybe I change my mind if I see Cloud Pattern, but based on what I have, I really like the face sculpt and the shape of 2010. So here's Signature, here's 2010, and also uh, Utility Belt Buzz. What do you think of the face sculpts? They all are a little bit different, and they're all from Thinkway Toys, they're all Toy Story Collection, but you can tell the Buzz sculpt did have a few differences in the toy line when they produced them in 2010 versus 2018, 19, whenever the Signature Buzz was produced, and Utility Belt Buzz from 2010. And look at the chins. The chin is super fat on the white logo 2010, but I kind of like that look. I think Buzz kind of his chin looked like that wide. But what do you guys think of the chins? Which which face sculpt do you think Thinkway Toys got most accurate for the movie? Um, it's hard for me to say. Like I said, I'm biased to 2010 white logo Buzz. But you guys let me know in the comments below which chin, which face sculpt do you like for Buzz the best? Signature here on the left, utility belt in the middle or 2010 white logo Buzz on the right? Let me know. Well, I had fun going through each Buzz Lightyears that I have so you guys can see why I collected why I did. Um, it's fun collecting more than one Buzz Lightyear. Uh, that broken Buzz you did see, I use it for parts in case any of these Buzz breaks. I can use parts from him to um, modify these toys or, you know, I'm always looking to modify Buzz in some way to customize them. As you can see with Disney Store, I've customized them the most with the helmet mod and also with the head swap. So I'm always looking to have fun and see what I can do with these toys. As always, guys, thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing to my channel. I'm about to hit 25,000 subscribers, so that Potato Head Movie Accurate mod is coming soon. And a bunch of other Movie Accurate mods are coming your way. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.